The Thirsty Alien Why is Eucalyptus so controversial? Eucalyptus has been crucial in meeting the demand of the pulp and paper industry around the world. The paper that you use in your office, school, home and even some of your favorite furniture is probably made of eucalyptus. In fact, its plantations are a major CO2 sink helping in mitigating global climate change. But for all the prima facie evidence on eucalyptus' usefulness, its plantations were banned by the Karnataka High Court in 2017. A decision that was overturned just two years later in 2019. Eucalyptus divides researchers and policy makers like no other plant does. Even outside India, in countries such as China, South Africa and Kenya, it has become a controversial topic. But what's driving this divergence in opinion? Broadly, there are two aspects, the socio-economic and the ecological. Native to Australia, eucalyptus is first believed to be introduced to India in 1790 by Tipu Sultan, the ruler of Mysore at the time, in the Nandi Hill area outside Bangalore. Its many industrial applications, low maintenance and economic benefits led to its rapid expansion around the country, especially in the late 1900s. Today, India ranks second globally in area under eucalyptus plantation. In 1981, a study looking at the social, economic and ecological impact of social forestry in Karnataka's Kolar district made a case on how expanding eucalyptus plantations actually worsened economic well-being, with farmlands originally used for food crops such as ragi rapidly transformed into plantations. It took away employment from landless labourers and destroyed opportunities in rural areas. The study claimed that plantations forced landless labourers to exploit forest resources as an alternate livelihood. The results were not accepted by the Karnataka Forest Department. However, the socio-economic impact of eucalyptus plantations was continued to be discussed in the Legislative Assembly and in public debates in Karnataka, which then spilled to other parts of the country too. Coming to the ecological aspects of eucalyptus, it has been often branded with creative terms such as thirsty alien, water guzzler, water pump, referring to the excessive intake of water by the plant. Again, in the Kolar district of Karnataka, a different study showed depleted groundwater levels in areas around eucalyptus plantations. Areas within a kilometer of plantation showed average water levels at 240 meters while areas away from plantation continue to show average water levels at 177 meters. The study suggested that within 20 years of plantation coming up, the water table had depleted by about 35%. It remains unclear though if this depletion was totally attributable to eucalyptus plantations. What we do know is that on average, eucalyptus uses 785 liters of water to produce 1 kg of its weight. It absorbs water through its dimorphic root system, which means that the roots grow laterally as well as vertically. The lateral roots absorb moisture from the surface, while the vertical ones can go up to the depth of 9 meters in search of water. However, not all species grow the same way. The roots of most eucalyptus species in India rarely go more than 3 to 5 meters in depth. This is why some theories suggest that instead of eucalyptus plantation, an increase in the use of irrigation pumps over the years and continuous drought may have contributed to the lowering of groundwater table. Another ecological argument against eucalyptus is the phenomena of allelopathy, with conclusive results from studies both on field and in laboratory showing that leaf litter of the eucalyptus species makes germination and in some cases seedling survival of other plant species difficult or close to impossible. It's a trait that helps the eucalyptus dominate and outcompete other plants. In the past, questions on the negative effects of eucalyptus plantations were also considered by the planning commission. But the findings of the panel remained inconclusive due to a lack of strong evidence. The complexity is obvious. Some in the scientific community debate on which varieties are bad for the water table. Others reject these problems as an exaggeration. And then some argue about farming incentives and commercial viability of eucalyptus plantations.
While there is still no consensus on the net effect of growing eucalyptus on the society, the economy and the ecology, there is definitely agreement on two things. First, eucalyptus should not be planted indiscriminately. Second, there is still more work to be done for a clearer picture. Help us spread the word and share this video with friends and family who would care. Thanks for watching.